Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Fave toy, we're rocking. Sentimental Hospital, Veronica. Dr. Alessandro, why I love you too. Welcome to my new edition of Kibble Run. Open to all the animals in disguise on the block. The first one will win the Kibble Cup. Yay! <laughs> and may the best beast win. Okay, guys, ready? Wow, good one, Sam. You almost sound like a real cat. And why wouldn't I sound like a real cat? I am a real cat. Uh -huh. <laughs> a real cat? Yeah, right. And I'm a wild boar in the sky. <laughs> what is that thing? Wow! <laughs> Cats just love that stuff. Give me that right now, you stuffing warthog, you. What's going on? No idea. He's just trying to be clever, I suppose. At least I hope so. Yes, he knows. <laughs> and I've got lots of yummy Sammy Kibble! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sam, what's gotten into you? Just look at Victoria. You squashed her like a pancake. She's gone all limp, like a rag doll. Oh, you deserve the angry eyes treatment. Yeah. You just look at that. How can I possibly resist? Come here, you. Mm. Uh, you okay, Victoria? No, come. Little Sammy is happy. He's so happy. I have never heard him purr like that before. Right, so enough already. I've got repairs to do. But before that, a nice shower and gotta hide the kibble. Hey, Sam, uh, be careful, okay? You're not a real cat. Not a real cat? That's not cat that in that. That's not cat in that. Meow! That's not cat. I am a real cat. That's it. We're gonna have to do something fast to get him back. What a magnificent series. What emotion. What a joy. Oh, I love this series. Say, just between us cats, how about lending me your fave toy that smells so good? Yeah, that's for our favorite wild boy. Enjoy, Sam. I'm sure you'll feel much better after this. What is this stuff? Acorns? What in the world am I supposed to do with those? I only eat kibble. King kibble. Yeah. <laughs> You're sick. Sam? You're not a cat, you're a wild boar. A wild animal like me. We come from the forest! <laughs> what kind of nonsense is that? I am a cat, and cats sure don't hang out with dogs. And as for your bowl of rotten acorns, keep them to yourself! This isn't gonna be easy. <laughs> What's gotten into him? I'm losing my best friend. Hey, these things aren't so bad after all. A bit harder than teeth, but not bad at all. Mind giving me some? Weird. A dog, a rabbit, and a canary eating acorns together? Maybe I shouldn't have brought home kibble after all. Meow! First, it's my sofa, then my kibble, and now my ball. Enough is enough. Huh? Unless... Hey, Sam, check it out. 
Nugget and Fluffy are waiting to play with you in the yard. Seriously cool. Thanks, Victoria. Yay! What's up? Peace at last. Boy, I love my life. Those acorns really weren't bad at all. You think there are any left? Don't move. I'll go look. It's really kind of weird what's happened to Sam. Any thoughts, Victoria? None. All I know is that ever since he knocked his head on the mirror, he's become insufferable. <gasps> of course! That's it! Sam lost his memory and doesn't know who he is anymore. Oh, yeah? And how would you know that, huh? Yeah, how would you know that? <laughs> okay. In Sentimental Hospital, Dr. Alessandro has a motorcycle accident and hits his head. And since the first thing he sees when he wakes up is the doctor who's come to his rescue, he thinks he's a stethoscope. It's the same with Sam. He hit his head, lost his memory, and when he saw his reflection in the mirror, he thought he was a cat. Unbelievable! And do you have any idea where he is? Hmm, I think he went into the yard to play with the neighbors. Nugget and Fluffy? Given how nosy they are, if Sam's convinced he's a real cat and he gets too chummy with them, they're gonna unmask him and we'll be next. Girls, we've gotta get him back inside. Take your time. <sighs> in any system, wild boars don't know how to purr. Can you believe it? <laughs> he called me a wild boar. Sam, <laughs> mind coming over here for a sec? Just a minute, girls. Sam, chill out, okay? They're not your friends. You've got to come home right this second. Buzz off, stinking dog. And why, pray tell, should I return to a house with a dog in it anyway? Sam, try and remember you're a wild boar. You're a wild animal like us, the forest. Hold that. They kill me right now. Anyway, all dogs lie all the time. I'm going back on the roof amongst my own kind. <sighs> No way. He's just too weird. He says we're all wild. Did we come from the forest, you know? Complete nonsense. From where? The forest? You're wild? Oh, no. Yeah, but he's always saying bizarre things. For sure. You know what dogs are like. Unbelievable. My best friend is going to tell the neighbors everything and we're going to have to return to the forest. Out of the question. He's got to get his memory back right now. Our lives depend on it. Victoria, you've got to help us save Sam. And why does that concern me? Because Sam surely didn't just stumble on Nugget and Fluffy out of the blue, right? I have no idea what you're talking about. Girls, your turn. Victoria, no! Not the forest! Not the forest! All right, I'll help you. Calm down now and listen, Victoria. Thank you, Washington. So, Dr. Alessandro gets his memory back when he has the exact same motorcycle accident. <laughs> That's silly. Are you, uh, serious? Completely. Except that Sam can't be wearing his costume. He has to see himself as he really is in the mirror. Gotcha! Eugenie, Susie, follow me. We're gonna reenact the race just like it happened. Make the quick of the sewer dive. Is this a joke or what? <sighs> when it rains, it pours. <laughs> and so then I tell hey, him, Sam, yeah? Mind coming over here for a sec? Coming. I'll be right back. <laughs> Phew, I thought he'd never leave. He's even weirder than that city friend of his. The Kibble Cup race is on again! The first one to catch the other wins this awesome bucket of kibble! Against you? Sam, that is my costume. Just like yours, or Susie's, or Eugenie's. Look! Yeah. Ta -da! Ah! It's even worse than I thought! I can go to the group right now! Oh no, my costume! We've got to stop him! The way a doggy took off his dog fur and he's got rabbit ears! <laughs> yeah? Where'd he go? Meow! What's going on with you? Meow! Meow! This time,
time we really are goners. All I have to do now is sit down and wait until they take me back to the forest. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. No, we've still got a chance. Yeah! Wash is back. Huh? Hey. Hurry up, he's super heavy. Sam, look in the mirror. And Here I am, girls. Well, just look at this, Sam. A chicken was clogging the machine. Sam? Uh, Sam, where are you? Why were you meowing like that? A wild boar. A wild yeah. boar. We've got to be fast, girls. Mr. Livingstone is coming. Where in the world has Sam gone to now? Sam? What's going on here? What are you doing in the sink? Right, well, I'm going back to my repairs. Glad to see you're back, Sam. Yeah, we missed you a ton. Girls, get the mirror ready. I have the feeling he thinks he might be a rabbit now. Here we go again. <laughs> Sam thinks he's a rabbit now. Okay. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Hear that, darling? Sounds like the engine's wearing out. You think so? I hope we don't break down before we get to the vets. <laughs> Pointless, pathetic, incompetent. Get out and don't come back until you know how to heal animals, Vladimir. Get a grip on yourself and man up. You see that? Looks like the vet has been thrown out of his own clinic. Yay! New more annual checkups. What's happened, Doctor? <sighs> Val was right. I'm incapable, pointless, useless, a dead weight in this world, a shame to my profession. Don't say that! I am, I am, I hate my job. I'd never have become a vet if my mom hadn't forced me to. My big dream was to become a Tibetan flutist. Everything will be fine, Vladimir. Go on home and take- But this is my home. I haven't anywhere else to go. Mommy! <laughs> We'll take care of you, you'll see. In a few days, you'll be raring to go again. Come and hang out with our lovable little fur balls for a while. I'm sure they'll put a smile back on your face. We gotta get out of here before that monster sees behind our disguise. We head back to the Living Stones once he's gone. Ready? One, two, three! Yeah. Look, they're so excited about showing you around the house, they jumped out before we poured! Okay, we're trapped. Keep your distance and make sure the vet does not see your zippers, okay? What kind of distance? I don't know. Two yards? Two and a half? That's about 20, 25 sausages end to end, Sam. Or 250 sitting in a line. Let's go play with our darlings in the yard. You'll see, it'll cheer you up to no end. In you go, sweetie pies. Hi! Everybody run for cover! <laughs> uh, fluffy babies? I bet I scared them away. No, they're only playing hide and seek. Call for them, and they'll soon come running. Uh, uh Philadelphia! Not bad. He is named after a city, but not that one. The name's Washington. Oh, yeah. Uh, Paddington, uh, Pab, Lucy, uh, Zucchini. Uh, close. It's Washington, Sam, Susie, and Eugenie. Oh, yeah. Uh, Washington, Sam, Eugenie, Susie. It's a trap. Don't move! Oh. 
They probably didn't hear you. I haven't cleaned their ears out in over a month. Sweetie pies? Here they are. Look how pleased they are to see you. How about we all go play ball? They love playing ball. Uh. Don't move, okay? Go on, throw. You go first. <laughs> See, they don't want to play with me. It's obvious. You have to throw the ball further. Look, like this. Oh, Vladimir, I am so sorry. Are you okay? Can you hear me? <laughs> I want my mommy. How about we play that, huh? You like that, playing that? It's a game he's sure to win. It'll give his confidence a huge boost. Mr. Livingstone, you are a genius. Mm -hmm. I never want to hear anyone mention that job again. Never. I'm packing it in right this minute. <laughs> that means we never have to worry about him again, Wash. That's what he wants us to think. But it's a trap. Mm. A trap to get us closer to him. Be on your guard. <laughs> You can be proud of yourselves. Thanks to you, poor Vladimir has packed in his brilliant career as a vet. You should be ashamed of yourselves. I warn you, if you don't give him a big hug right this minute, you won't have any kibble. I'll give you five minutes. It's blackmail. Don't give into it. That's how it all starts. First, zero kibble. Then, you gotta sleep outside. Finally, you wind up at the dog pound, or worse, back in the forest. Hmm. Okay, Sam, go give the vet a big hug. Why me? Because, uh, go on, I'll explain later. Okay, but don't forget this time, all right? Or else I'll get to thinking you're taking me for a ride. Hmm. TV is better with pictures, don't you think? Say, I'm gonna show you my favorite uh, program. Uh, so stop, look. It's Imatan Tabakook, the famous Tibetan flute player. Listen to that. What talent, what beauty. Absolutely, it's remarkable, sublime. Soon it's time for my favorite Shh. Uh, huh. Yo. Sam, give him a hug. Jump on his lap, quick, or goodbye kibble forever. <laughs> Ah, a cat! Disgusting! It'll give me fleas! Get out of... Uh, oh, what soft fur! Oh, it feels like acrylic! Fake acrylic fur! See that, honey? Vladimir's got his smile back. So what? Hmm? Because of him, I can't even watch my favorite program! Come on, the main thing is he's perked up a little. And with Sam, he's sure to soon start feeling better and better. <laughs> Don't worry, Sam. I'll make you another one. <laughs> What's gotten into you? That's our family photo album. <laughs> Hello? There are people waiting out here, and you've been in there for hours. Okay, okay. It's all yours. Anyway, there's no more hot water left. <laughs> That Vladimir is really getting on my nerves. Come on, honey. We can't just throw him out. At least he's not sleeping in our bed, huh? Ah! Ah! He's gone too far. He has to go. It's time for him to go back to the clinic. You know he doesn't want to be a vet anymore. Well, I'm going to teach him the joy of curing sick animals. You'll see. What are you going to do? Our babies are in perfect health. Girls, wake up! We have a situation! I was in the oven, and what I heard... What are you doing in the oven in the middle of the night? Well, after they've roasted chicken, I love licking the sides of the oven. Oh, boy. But hey, that's not the issue. I was in the oven, and I heard the living stones plotting in the kitchen. They want to put something in our kibble to make us sick, so that then the vet can make us better. Whatever you do, don't swallow a thing, okay? Sam, where are you going? I want something to eat. <sighs> Sleep makes you hungry. Sorry, Sam. Too long to explain. But from now on, you got to stop eating anything. What? Stop eating? 
Sam! My little shabby boy, answer me! Call the vet, quick! But you're the vet. I gave up that career, as you well know. And anyway, I threw away all my instruments. I picked them out of the trash can. Any other questions? Hmm. How does this work again? You put it on the heart. Not on your uh -oh. heart, Sam's heart. And you put the other end in your ears. No, you've got to put those bits in your ears. It's pointless. I'll never manage. It's been so long since I gave up. It was only yesterday. That bed is pathetic. He's never going to cure Sam. The only thing that can cure him is to eat. Susie, let me remind you that the Living Stones have doctored all the food to make us sick. Are you sure about that? As sure as two plus two makes six. Four. What? <laughs> Two plus two makes four, you jelly brain. The Living Stones haven't poisoned anything. Not the kibble, not the canned food, nothing, nada, zilch. I think they have. Can you tell me why you're all covered in red spots, Vic? Huh, can you? It's makeup, knucklehead. The Living Stones want to make the vet think that I'm sick so then he can cure me, build up his self-confidence, and clear on out. This means we can give Sam something to eat. We could put him in a cast. Mm -hmm. That could work. Why? He hasn't broken anything. We'll have more luck with a medical encyclopedia. Let's see now, where are we? Camel? Caribou? Ah, cat! Here we are. Oh. I'm awake. You'll never believe it. I dreamt I was eating kibble. It was awesome. What a fascinating book, don't you think? If I'd known all this, I might have been a better vet. Meow, meow. Sam, I don't believe it. I cured him. I'm a genius of animal medicine. It's plain to see. How has the world managed without my talent for so long? I've made up my mind. I'm taking up my stethoscope again, and I'll base my clinic here. Here we'll put the waiting room, and here my treating room. It's going to be cutting-edge, high-tech, state-of-the-art. What do you think? Well, how about you head back to your clinic instead? Oh. <laughs> Velma, it's me. I'm going back to work. Medicine needs me. Vladimir cured our cat without so much as touching him. It was phenomenal, exceptional. You must take him back. Mm -hmm. I know you'd get your old touch back, Vladimir. Welcome home. Incidentally, I believe you have an appointment for your adorable little animals. Oh, really? No, 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 just a routine checkup. Thank you, goodbye. <gasps> I think I've had enough of vets for one day. <laughs> that was close. Boy, am I ever happy he's out of the house. I got to kind of like him. No, I can't wait for the next appointment. <laughs>Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Thanks, Washington. Well done. Good dog. Here you go, a little reward. Bring me up my newspaper, will you? You'll find me in my bedroom. You dogs are so pathetic. All those disgusting chores to chew on some old shoe. No way. It's delicious. And what's more, it's great for the teeth. <gasps> Good little doggy, who does everything Daddy tells him to. Got a problem, Vic? You're not jealous by any chance. Are you joking? See us cats wash? We don't have to go bootlicking humans for love and appreciation. All we have to do is be ourselves. Beautiful, agile, gracious, everything a dog is not. <laughs> Baloney! Dogs are a match for cats in every department. Yeah? So if that's true, can you, for example, explain to me why dogs can't climb trees whereas cats can? Oh, yes, we can. It's just we have better things to do. I'll go climbing trees whenever you want, Vic. Yeah? Really? The first to grab the ribbon is the winner. But warning, if you fall, then... Mm, 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 mm. A 
elimination. Basically, if Wash falls, he loses. On your marks, get set, go! <laughs> Looks like I've got time for a little cat nap. <sighs> Poor little Washington. Need a helping tail? Go on, grab hold. You're breaking my little heart. Hang on tight. Washington! 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 As a cat, I will say that I am very disappointed with your performance, Victoria. But speaking as Wash's best friend, I am pleased with the result. Way to go, Wash. You won, boy. Yay! Washington! Washington! So, Vic, ready to pay the price for defeat? Yay! Don't even think of it. Oh, look at Daddy's cute little doggy. <laughs> Take this off. <gasps> you, sweetie pie. Yes! Hey, Wash, not coming to say hi? What's he doing lying on Victoria's armchair? Come on, Wash, get up. Come say hi. Washington? Washington? Uh, what? How weird. See that, honey? Wash doesn't look like himself today. It looks like his head has gone flat. No, he's lost weight. Look, his skin is hanging off his bones. Okay, honey pie, double ration of kibble for you today. <laughs> Dog kibble. It's disgusting. Washington, you gotta eat. Go on. <laughs> Go on, little doggy, eat him up. <laughs> Yes, Wash got himself a double ration of kibble and we didn't. It isn't funny. But it isn't Wash. It's Vic wearing Wash's costume. Yeah? Okay, time for some exercise, Washington. That'll soon perk you up. It's weird. It's like Wash's costume has grown too big for him. It's because it isn't Wash, Sam. It's Vic wearing Wash's costume. Yeah? Oh, yeah! Vic wearing Wash's costume. Vic wearing Wash's costume. Vic wearing Wash's costume. Uh, hang on. Wash wearing... No. Who's it again? Go on, Washington. Catch! <laughs> Your reflexes are rusty, Washington. You're beginning to worry me. Luckily, I have a nice, juicy, vitamin-enriched bone for you. You should see her, Wash. Vic is hopeless at playing the dog. Uh, what? It has to stop right this minute. I've spent two years training to create the perfect dog act, and Victoria's ruining it all in one afternoon. If she carries on like that, the Living Stones are gonna kick me out. Uh, you or Vic? Uh, me. I mean, Vic and then me. If they throw Vic out wearing my dog costume, even if I do get it back, the Living Stones will never let me in the house again, Sam. <laughs> Vic, give me my costume back. Like I wanted to keep it. You could have watched out. You nearly ruined all my efforts at passing as the perfect pooch. Let it be a lesson to you. I didn't ask to wear your crummy costume. Hey, and another thing. Are you ready to fess up that cats are better than dogs? <laughs> Not on your life, Vic. Okay, if that's the way it is, I'm keeping it. And don't expect me to play the perfect pooch. I am hopeless at dog stuff. The worst around. Wash, <laughs> Washington! My slippers! <laughs> Washington, my slippers! Wash, what has that meant to you? Washington, please! Sam, go tell Vic right this minute that I admit cats are better than dogs! And make her give me my costume back, please! Wash, you bad dog! 
Don't ever do that again. Otherwise, you're in for trouble. No, give me that, Washington. You've been a bad dog. You don't have a right to your ru Washington, calm down! No! Stay there and don't move. It's punishment time for you, you naughty dog. Come on, girls. We're gonna leave Washington on his own. He has to calm down. He's being punished. Washington, no, I mean, uh, Wash told me to tell you that, uh, that cats, uh, no, the dogs are better than cats. What? Dogs are better than cats? If it's war Wash wants, he's gonna get it. Ah, peace and tranquility. It looks like Washington has finally calmed down. <laughs> Have you gone crazy? Who did that? Own up right this minute, or... Uh-oh! Things are getting way out of hand! We better go warn Wash! What about my costume? Is she gonna give it back? Yeah, I don't know. They cut it off into the yard, and Mr. Livingstone said you're punished and you have to stay on your own in the kitchen. You gotta stop bugging Vic. She's really mad. There's gonna be trouble. Huh? What? What kind of trouble? Ah! Washington, please calm down! Ah! What did you say to Victoria to wind her up like that? Exactly what you told me to say. The dogs are better than cats. Huh? Uh, no, that wasn't it. You naughty, naughty dog, Washington. Go to bed this instant. I shall decide what punishment you deserve. What's going on, honey? I don't know what's got into Washington. He's behaving dreadfully. Uh-oh! We better get your costume back and back! I have an idea. Try to tell the Living Stones that Victoria has disappeared. That way, she'll be forced to show herself without my costume and we'll be able to... Meow. Meow. Oh, Victoria! You are so sweet. Not like bad, bad Washington. Imagine if Wash attacked Vic or one of our other lovable sweetie pies. He's already attacked a postman. What if the next time he bites? I hate to say this, but for the safety of all of us, we must call the animal pound, honey. It's our duty. No, this is the end. Wait, what if Washington is sick? Maybe that's why he's behaving like this. You're right, honey. I'll call the vet this instant. You have called Madame Yovetovic's veterinary clinic. I'm obviously really busy right now. So don't call back until you've forgotten your problem. Let's go for a little walk to clear our minds, honey. We'll give him a call when we get back. Vic, where did you put my costume? So tell me, are cats? Yes, cats are better than dogs. But for Pete's sake, give me back my costume. If I don't get to play the perfect pooch when they get home, I'm done for. Seeing as you're such a good little doggy, you should be able to find your costume all on your lonesome. With your legendary sense of smell. No, 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 no! Why don't you use your nose, like Vic said? Because I'm not a real dog, you genie. So smell them. <laughs> they stink of cheesy feet. You can't smell anything else? Sure. In the background, there's something that smells good, kind of perfume. That's Vic's aroma. She left her scent on the slippers when she ripped them apart. All you have to do is track down her odor. Visit everywhere she went, and eventually you're sure to find wherever she hid your costume. How do you know all that? You've never been a dog before. No, but in the forest, guys always kept stealing my acorns, so I had to learn to use my snout to find them. I found it. Vic hid my costume in the kibble. I can smell it. Where is it? Don't panic, it happens. It's what you call a false leap. Keep looking, there must be another trail. Going around in circles, are we? You cheat! As mock dogs go, I confess, I'm impressed with you. How about we make peace? How about we say a fox in dog disguise is equal to a cat? Like that idea? Look, honey, it looks like Wash is feeling better. Maybe we don't need to call the vet after all. Of course! It must be those vitamin-enriched bones that made him crazy like that. He must be allergic to them. I'll throw them away. It's silly, I know, but I think I finally developed a taste for them. <sighs> what? Only fools never change their minds, no? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. 
Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. In order to trick its numerous predators, certain insects blend in with their environment, such as the phasmid, which takes on the appearance of a stick. Narrator just explained that it's an insect that disguises itself as a stick. Wow! He really is the king of disguise then! Are you crazy? I'm the king of disguise! I don't know why it should be you. Susie and Eugenie are pretty awesome too. <laughs> well, duh! I taught them all they know! That's not true! Sam, who's the king of disguise? Wash or your darling little sister who loves you so much? Miney Mo, you will be the king of disguise! <laughs> Don't bother looking. I have reached a level where I've almost become a real dog. Oh, one thing I'll say, you sure aren't the king of modesty. Come on, girls. Let's leave the king with his jester. <sighs> I am going to turn you girls into the queens of disguise. <laughs> making authentic looking disguises. The costume is nothing, actually. The most important thing is to try to embody your characters. Try barking. Woof, 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 woof! Uh, Susie, let Eugenie handle the barking, okay? <laughs> We're going to have a gas. Just you wait and see. If you are able to fool Wash and trick him into giving you his share of kibble, he'll have to admit that you guys are the queens of disguise. Uh? They're coming! Balls in your court! Uh, is that box there yelping? Puppies? Oh, they're the cutest puppies I've ever seen! Boy, am I ever annoyed! You could have told me you had kids! I mean, how long have we known each other? Sam, I'm a fox. Foxes don't have puppies. I cannot be their father. Understand? But I understand how you might be confused after all. I am the king of disguise, so it's logical for you to see me as a real dog. So, what are your names? <laughs> Way to go, girls. Okay, so you, you're gonna be Napoleon, and you are Jean-Michel. <laughs> you are so awesome when it comes to choosing puppy names. Oh, and where do these darling creatures come from? These puppies are under my responsibility. Puppies? Are you sure they're puppies? <laughs> Very funny, Vic. I know a puppy when I see one, thank you! Oh, honey! Look what Washington found! What cutie pies! <gasps> but whose puppies are they? They're surely abandoned, and Wash has taken them under his wing! We're gonna take great care of you, darlings. You must be starving. I'm gonna take care of that on the double. Oh no, yours are the little bulls. <laughs> Honey, don't you think we should talk about this new adoption before getting all carried away? Shh, not here, not in front of the puppies. <laughs> Yeah, I know, Napoleon. No, Jean-Michel. Those are for the adults. You've had your dinner. Sam, you're being heartless. They were abandoned. I bet they've had nothing to eat for days. Here, little guys, don't listen to him. He's selfish. <laughs> I'm so happy the Living Stones are adopting you. Let me make some room for you in my basket. Sam, you stay with them. I'll just be a second. Maybe you should go hide your stuff, no? My stuff? What stuff? These little puppies seem so starved that you wouldn't want them finding a roast chicken under the sofa. Or in the bathroom closet now, would you? Yeah, mind looking after them for a sec? I'll be right back. We did it! Wash didn't notice a thing, and he gave you his portion of kibble. You two are Definitely the queens of disguise. Whee!
And now, as soon as Wash comes back, you take off your costumes, okay? I can't wait to see their faces when they find out! Well, uh, I don't think so. We're gonna stay puppies. It's way cooler than being a canary or a rabbit. And besides, we get three times as much kibble. Uh, say what? Well, yeah! Somebody's gotta eat you Ginny and Susie's kibble, too! Uh, girls, it's great. You won. But now, you're going to take off those costumes. Immediately! You're just jealous, because we're the queens of the sky. For sure! And I bet you just want to pretend you're a dog like us. Listen, do whatever you want, but I will have warned you. Just you two wait and see who has the last laugh. You don't want your kibble? The puppies are going to grow up fast, and soon we won't have any more room in the house. I'd love to keep them, but really, we can't. You're right. But we can't just abandon them. We have to find them a family. I've heard that Mrs. Appleton wants to adopt a pet for her children. Gracie and Alfie? Are you sure? It's true, they are a bit weird, but that's just one more reason. I'm sure the contact with pets will help them straighten up. Oh, thank you so much! I'm certain that my little darlings are going to care for them as if they were precious treasures. <laughs> Look what I brought you! Aren't they just adorable? No, we wanted a turtle. And you're giving us ugly puppies instead. So and I'm sure you're going to adore them and just look in their eyes. You can tell they already love you. I don't believe it. I just don't believe it. Napoleon and Jean-Michel have disappeared. They warned you, Wash. A big brother must never let his little brothers or sisters out of his sight. Me, for example, I never take my eyes off Eugenie 24 hours a day. Oh, yeah? And where is Eugenie? Yeah. Well, she's, uh... Uh, Eugenie? Uh, Eugenie! Eugenie? Eugenie! Eugenie! Oh, she disappeared! <laughs> <laughs> We're the worst older brothers in the world! Stop! Napoleon and Jean Michel are Eugenie and Susie disguised as puppies. What? It started as a joke to prove that you weren't the only one who was a master of disguise, Washington. But I have to admit, it got way out of hand. The girls are prisoners of Elfie and Gracie. But that's just awful. What are we going to do? What do you think we're going to do? We're going to free them. But to do that, Washington's going to have to dress up as a turtle. What? Are you joking? Hey, I thought you were the king of disguises. <laughs> uh, you're disguised as a turtle? Are you sure of that? Be patient while the King of Disguise lets his talent emerge. Look what I prepared for you, ugly puppy. A super dirt cake and a bowl of pebble soup. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Children don't eat puppies. At least I don't think they do. There's got to be some other explanation. There! They're in the toy box! <laughs> My beloved sister! Those little monsters! <laughs> I'm gonna, we're going to get our super turtle to swim in the bathtub! <laughs> Here it comes 
puppy. Aww, what cutie pie! It's true. Little kittens are irresistible. Kind of like Sam, you. they're not kittens. You can see full well they don't look like cats. What could they be, though? I'm sure I've seen them before. Those? Those are real puppies. I thought you knew how to recognize a puppy, Washington. Ah, uh, well, uh, yeah, of course. I knew that. <laughs> but hey, look, it's TV. What you see is always distorted. It's hard to recognize things. And there's this glare, gets in my eyes, and I, 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 yeah, I... Yeah, right. Instead of being the king of disguise, you wouldn't be the king of bad faith by any chance, would you? Uh, uh, uh what? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Why was I crying again? Mm, because I wish I was a cat so I can eat kibble all day long and watch TV. Oh, yeah. Because I wish I was a cat so I can eat TVs and watch kibble. Day long, all? Oh, forget it, Sam. With my magic rainbow, I grant you happiness and wonder. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Eugenie. Like a unicorn. It's a game. We're only pretending I'm Lily the unicorn. <laughs> Lily the unicorn. That's totally for babies. Hogwash! Lily the unicorn is amazing. If you say so. Okay, Sam. Put your costume back on. Let's go outside and play something cool, maybe, huh? <laughs> What's up with you guys? You're doing great. How about yourself? You should watch what you're doing. You nearly squished my face off, and I gotta go perform on Animal Star, you knuckleheads. What's that I hear? Who dares argue in the land of wonder? What on earth is that? Well, you know, the Masters had this unicorn come visit, but she was about to leave. Have you gone out of your mind? What do you think you're playing at? At least I look like a unicorn, right? Get inside and zip up your rabbit costume before the living stones get back from the market. There is no more Eugenie. Now my name is Gigi, the happy unicorn. Okay, let me explain. A unicorn is an imaginary animal, which means that outside the TV, they don't exist. If the living stones discover you like that, you'll blow your cover straight away, and you can say farewell happiness and hello to a world of horror back in the forest. Too bad, because I put my rabbit Sam, haul him off in the house. Susie, come with me. <laughs> Susie, keep watch while I get her costume back. Where on earth did she put it? Alert! Alert! Mr. Livingstone is gonna put the market basket in Gigi's hiding place. Too late. I can't believe it. It's incredible. <laughs> Have you seen this, sweetie pie? A unicorn! Isn't it magnificent? Hey, honey! Oh. <laughs> oh, darling, I found a baby unicorn in the shack in the yard! Isn't it amazing? I've always dreamt of having my own unicorn. And to think you said they didn't exist. Oh, yes, indeed! Have you seen this, sweetie pies? Oh, hey, where's Eugenie? Oh. She must be having her afternoon nap somewhere. Quick, a selfie. I've got to get it on my Hamstergram account. You must be hungry, cutie pie. Kibble all around, my lovely furballs. It's not every day your dream comes true. 
So, who is it that said, farewell happiness and hello world of horror, yada, yada, yada? Not me. <laughs> and here you can trot around to your heart's content. Hello, Mr. Snobby Nose. Let me introduce my lovely little Marvel. A unicorn? <laughs> How ridiculous. Oh. It's the Animal Star TV show. Hello, yes. Huh? What do you mean? Mm. Animal Star canceled Alvarez. They found somebody better on a hamstergram account. Don't you realize what this means? It's an outrage. Which animal could possibly surpass Alvarez? Come on, you know what they say. See a unicorn and feel happy all day. Hi, mm. Animal Star wants a phone interview with you. They even canceled an Afghan Greyhound to talk about your unicorn. <laughs> Sorry, important call to make. Let me leave you with your new friend, Susie. This is amazing! What do you want to do now that you're a unicorn? I want to make everybody happy, duh! And to begin with, with my magic horn and rainbow power, I name you Deputy of Happiness! Yippee! Everything I've dreamed of! Thank you, Gigi! Now, give me the remote control back. No, it's my turn! Give me that remote control! Power, let me make your dearest dream come true. I name you Commander of the Remote Control. Mm. Banana pancakes. Win the holiday of a lifetime. And cream sauce with broccoli and. Sam, don't sulk. You heard what Gigi said. <laughs> with my magic heart and rainbow power, your dearest wish is granted. May you have all the kibble you can eat. Who do you want to thank? Thank you, Gigi! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Hey, clowns, you're not through yet? There are folks trying to sleep around here. There's no need to be so unkind. Kindness is the food of life. Otherwise, it'll cost you one kibble in the naughty box. Pop yeah. up! <laughs> and what are you gonna do next, you? Complaining is forbidden. That'll be two kibble now. But I don't have any. Don't lie to me. I know you stashed them under your pillow. Huh? Now you're up to three kibble. <sighs> Yes! With my magic horn, I can indeed make you happy. What is your dearest wish? We want to have the same litter box as Vic. Her litter box is the best. They say it smells like cotton candy. I'd like the same neckerchief as Alvarez. He never lets me borrow it. With my magic horn and rainbow power, all of your wishes will be granted. Hmm. <sighs> huh? Hey, what are you doing? That's my litter box. Don't worry, you can share Sam's litter box. What? No way! That's not nice. One kibble. Oh. Gigi, he wants to steal my hat. It's not a hat, it's my cravat. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Happiness is all about sharing. With my magic horn, I declare that Vincent has the right to wear his neckerchief hat every other day. No complaining. Cough it up. One kibble in the naughty box. Yeah, totally but when everything is said and done, I decided to throw my legs. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Say, dumbbells, quit the magic unicorn act, or there's going to be trouble. Boo hoo hoo. We're so afraid. <laughs> <laughs> You know that wild animals are forbidden in this yard. Well, so are imaginary animals, too. Really? See your unicorn? You'd better lock it up indoors right this instant or else. What's all this? Not more arguments. He started it. Ah, ah, ah. Give me your paws. With my magic horn, I offer the ribbon of friendship. Go make peace. Hmm. Or else. You gotta listen to Gigi. She can make us happy using her magic horn. Ever since she turned up, I've had all the kibble like you need. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. She's watching us, quick, let's be peaceful. But that is disgusting. Alvarez, what has happened to your dignity and your cravat? Here I was coming out to post photos of you on Hamstergram. <laughs> How horrific! You leave me no choice, Alvarez. I'm going to have to replace you with a magic animal even more magical than a unicorn. And he will make it onto Animal Star. 
An animal more magical than a unicorn? Whatever could that be? I intend to steal the horn of that ridiculous unicorn and become magic in her place. I shall make it onto Animal Star and win back my master's love. What is going on here? Uh, a wild animal? I'm calling the dog pal. Uh. Oh. Hello, animal pal. Uh, can't you see the poor little creature is terrorized? She must feel so lost. I shall take her back to the forest myself right this instant. Give me all the kibble I can eat! Sam, there are worse matters at hand. If you're hungry, eat this. Thanks, Wash. <laughs> Eugenie's costume! She hid it in her magic horn! I'm just taking the baby boar back to the forest. You can help me look for Eugenie when you get home. I'm Eugenie, what are you doing here, beautiful? You haven't seen a baby boar, have you? Huh? He got out through the window? Okay, I guess he must have set off home. Come on, I have to introduce you to our extraordinary new friend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Say, where did she go? Phew! I looked everywhere, nothing. Our unicorn has disappeared. You know, honey, that's the thing with magic animals. They appear and disappear just like that. But when we have such a magnificent crew of fantastic furry friends, who needs unicorns to be happy? No, oh, you're right, honey. So, what are you watching, Lily the Unicorn? Ha! That's for babies. We're watching Goliath the Dragon. Now that's cool. Okay with the dragon, but no fooling around this time, okay? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. to go to Bebop Bunny for a free beauty kit. Pretty obvious, no? Sorry, we're super busy. We're onto something absolutely awesome here. Racing at top speed, the black slug can cover more than two centimeters an hour. We wanna go! We wanna go! We wanna go! Sure, promise. Tomorrow. No! Uh, what's that? Hmm. Da, it's a bunny mobile! A self-driving car to go to the Bebop Bunny Baron! A state-of-the-art self-driving car? Uh, Wash, we're actually kind of busy, huh? And besides, must I remind you that cars are reserved for humans only? Come on, cool it, Sam. 
I just want to have a look. I wasn't going to drive it. <sighs> Relax. The living stones are gone for the day. And when we get back, the race will only be half over. Sorry. If I say yes, then I'll lose all credibility around here. So the answer is no. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, all right. Yippee! Ah! I can't see anything through this tinted glass. Welcome aboard the Bunny Mobile. Passengers, please get in. Wow! It's so beautiful! During your trip, enjoy all the comfort of the Bunny Mobile. Automatic pilot with GPS, speed regulator, soft drink dispenser, and free call at 011-989998819999199-7253 in case of emergency. Destination, Bebop Bunny. Bush, stop the car! No! We're gonna get caught! Oh, come on, Sam! Don't worry! The windows are tinted, so there's no risk! Uh oh. Are you sure we're okay? I get this feeling we've been spotted. Emergency <laughs> <laughs> on the corner of Lafayette and Washington. There's an alligator in a tree! You see? I told you we had nothing to fear. To access your relaxation options, punch in the bunny button. Option one, massage. Option two, music. Option three, carrot juice. Yeah, Wash, this is too awesome. Do you think they also make kitty mobiles? When are we gonna get there? We're not even moving. But we are moving. It's just that the technology in these cars is so sophisticated that you don't even notice you're driving when in fact you're actually speeding down the road. Mm. Oh, because like right now we're speeding, huh? Are, are we, we there, there yet? yet? Hurry up! This is taking so long! All right already, girls, I'll speed up. All you had to do was ask. Newsflash, the Bunny Store Fair is a whopping success and their beauty kits are going like hotcakes. Hurry up if you want to get your hands on one. They won't last long. Oh, no! My beauty kit! Wash! Hurry up! Please, please, please! Please, 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 please! Okay, okay, everything's under control. Don't panic. Situation's under control. Turn this thing off! Alligator in a tree? What'll they come up with next? Uh-oh, the animal pound. Yeah, well, with the tinted glass windows, we're cool. Oh, yeah? And you think that works when they're open, too? Acceleration activated. Let's go. Forget the alligator. Uh, kid, this is your chance. We're counting on you. Well, of course not. They're the animal pound, not the police. You have reached your final destination. <sighs> we'll wait for you in the car, girls. Don't take too long, OK? <laughs> what did I say, huh? It was all just child's play. <laughs> the pound! Start! Error. You have reached your final destination. Activate bunny control to enter a new destination. Oh, Automatic remote control deactivated. Manual drive is activated. <laughs> the Super Duper Tunnel Slide has just opened. Come and get your fill of bunny thrills. Shall we go? It looks awesome. Do you think we've got time? Sam said we should hurry up. Yeah, all right. He's probably getting a massage in the bunny mobile right now. I bet he's in seventh heaven. Wash, oh, speed up. They're right behind us. Phew! You're gone. 
Who's he? Gosh, you can slow down. They're gone. I'd like to, except I get the feeling that the accelerator's like uh, stuck. <laughs> uh, Sam, don't touch anything. This is no time to slow down. <laughs> Number. I think now's the time! Oh, yeah, good idea! But, um, uh, what was the number again? Yeah, after 999881999, is it a one or a nine? Do you think Sam and Wash are going to jail? Oh, but the close call. I really like his daredevil style. He's totally oh. fearless. Reminds me of the blind bird Joe. That's my buddy Washington driving the bunny mobile. Think you could help him ditch the guys following them? An awesome driver like him? Well, that would be an honor. Flight formation! <laughs> Open fire! Center, how can I be of assistance to you? Hey, it works! Uh, can you tell me why we're calling them again? Drop it! Everything's cool, I ditched them. Oh. Oh no, I just realized! How are we going to get to the girls? Battery dead. Please recharge battery. I repeat, please re Did you just touch something? Charge battery. Do you know where we are, Sam? No idea. Even when I was little, I couldn't find my way home from one mud puddle to the next. So just imagine here. Are you serious? <laughs> you don't even know where you are. Our house is right over there. You two teeny. Susie. Of course we knew where we were. We were just waiting for you. So, shall we go home? Yeah. We're filthy. If the Living Stones see us like this, they're going to want to give us a bath, and then they'll see our costumes and... We knew we should have stayed in front of the TV. Drat, you're right. Hey! How did you do it? What? Get clean? Check it out! Big Bop Bunny All-Purpose Cleaner! <laughs> wow! That works! Awesome! Thank you, girls! <laughs> You see, Sam, I told you we'd be back in time for the end of the race. Yeah, but now that we missed everything in the middle, I can't figure out what's going on. Uh, your snail race totally stinks. Bebop Bunny's way better. Hey, darlings, we've got a surprise for you. We're taking you to the Bebop Bunny Fair. Yay! <laughs> you agree? <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the Living Stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. <laughs> I was just feeding our lovable little fur balls. Hey! My lucky coat! <laughs> you 
weren't thinking of. But honey, it went out of fashion 50 years ago. So, it's a collector's item. My dad gave it to me. He wore it at Woodstock, the legendary 60s festival. Don't you realize? It's staying here. See you later, sweetie pies. Be good. Yeah. Are you crazy? She's asleep. Don't wake her up. You know what she's like. Hmm. <laughs> Can you loan me your kibble? Of course, Sam. A cat's got to share everything. <laughs> <laughs> Like Alvarez's fur. Make me for Alvarez jellyfish dominoes. <laughs> Excellent. Hey, Sam, go on. Tell us what his majesty has on his mind. <laughs> what a disgusting stink. Do you have anything to wash your mouth odorous, my big fur? Okay. I hope the clown show's nearly finished. Since when does a cat dare to give orders to his majesty, King Alvarez? I don't believe it. Whenever they dig out a new costume, they have to do something dumber than before. <laughs> Psst, you can't stay here. Alvarez isn't a furry funk. He got out of the wrong side of his dog bed this morning. Sure. So I advise him to come nowhere near me because I have an unfinished catnap to complete. <sighs> whoa, whoa. Ah! What is a cat doing on my turf? I marked this tree this morning. Get out of here. Yeah? Well, I hope that someday you turn into a cat. Then you'll find out just what it's like having to constantly deal with goofballs like you. My kibble? I don't believe it! Sam! The only kibble I need are doggy delights because I'm worth it! Sam? Cousin of Sam? Say, if Alvarez catches you here, you'll be in deep trouble. You better skedaddle. Hmm. <laughs> uh, what are the... Are you crazy? You'd better get out of here quick. This is Alvarez's turf. That's right, and I am Alvarez. No, it ain't you. What? Of course it's me. So can you tell me Alvarez's true name? Uh, uh, uh... Elmer, <laughs> satisfied now? A cut! A horrific! Get out, you foul beast! <laughs> Duh, it's the curse of Victoria! The day of reckoning has arrived! A cat? A cat? They've all gone screwy in that yard. <laughs> I don't, I don't believe it. It isn't me. Sure it is. It is you. It's all because of the curse of Victoria. She transformed you into a cat. <laughs> but that is ridiculous. Yeah, well, if I were you, I would go ask her to forgive me and lift the curse. Otherwise, you'll never be a dog again. Ask for a cat's forgiveness? But... No dog has ever stooped so low. So, everything's fine. You're a cat now. <laughs> Alvarez! 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 Okay, girls, that's enough. The Living Stones will be home soon. Sam, put your costume back on. Phew! I don't know how Alvarez does it. It's so hot in here. Ooh! <laughs> I am the fairy phantom from the attic! <laughs> Yay! My costume! Where's it gone? Sam, how many times have I told you to be careful? Girls, come help us find it. Hey, guys. Yeah. What happened to your legendary sense of humor? 
Vic, uh, you haven't seen Sam's costume, have you? Sam's costume? Uh, no. Why? Hmm? Oh, no! The Living Stones! You sure? Since when did they knock to come home? Good point. Washington, it's me, Alvarez! Alvarez? I've got to talk to Victoria! It's urgent! <laughs> ah! oh, oh, oh! Huh? That wasn't Alvarez after all. No, it looked like a cat, and I'm sure I've already seen him someplace before. <laughs> Vic, you stole Sam's costume and put it on Alvarez. That's it, huh? <laughs> that was fantastic! You should have seen your faces! Well done, Vic. Without his costume, Sam will have to go back and live in the forest, and us too! And you know what it's like living in the forest? You know what it's like! Okay, okay, it was a joke. We'll go get your costume back. Okay, Sam, you're gonna hide here while we retrieve your costume and put this furry thing back on. If the Living Stones catch you before we get back, they better not find a wild boar in the house. But Wash, wearing that thing gets really hot. Wash? <laughs> the vet, he must know how to put an end to this curse. What if it contaminates us? We'll start barking too. It's too dangerous. We've got to call up the professionals. Hello, animal pal. Hopper is just a big enough pain in the neck when he's around, but he's even more annoying when you have to go look for him. Quick, we gotta catch Alvarez before the pound guy, or Sam's costume will be lost forever! <laughs> we don't have that choice. We must get Sam's costume back, whatever it takes! <laughs> We definitely saw that weirdo cat charge down this alley. There was a bunch of other animals on his tail. Where did they get to? We're barking up the wrong tree. There's no cat here. Let's move on out. Holy kibble, that was a close call. Oh, that for that knucklehead Alvarez. Say, where did he get to? <laughs> Cursed beast! Are you willing to ask forgiveness and grovel at my paw so that I may lift this terrible curse? I'm sorry. So, so sorry. I'll never torment a cat again. I promise. That is better. Now, open your ears. I shall release you from your curse using my magic incantation. <laughs> Wala -la -la -la! The lucky guys. At least it's cold where they are. What I wouldn't get to be in their shoes. <laughs> Hello, honey pies. We're home. Okay, this magic spell number is truly hilarious, but uh, just what is your plan to get Sam's costume off Alvarez's back without him noticing? No idea. You're Mr. Wise Guy around here. You must have some idea, huh? Me? No way! Wash! Maybe I do. Is that it? Have I become a dog again? Silence! Okay, are you done yet? No need to take me for some bozo. Your magic baloney isn't working. Of course they do. The spells will summon your spirit clone. And this demon will help you find your true exterior. Open your eyes. Your clone is upon us. Ah, is that me? I, I don't believe it. It's me, but I, me too, and we're both of us here. Awesome! <laughs> it's my costume. Oh, with this heat, I was ready to set sail for the ice and snow. Know much about penguins? They're cool. All I do know about penguins is that penguins didn't charge miles around town to get your costume back, Sam. So zip it up quick before Alvarez wakes up. <laughs> How about we put it in the kitchen? 
Ugh. Hang on a minute, dear. Just let me get out of my coat. Wow! See that, Sam? Dead ringer for Fluffy. Too right! Sam! <laughs> hey, honey, have you tidied away my lucky coat somewhere? Wow, what a crazy adventure that curse episode was. Huh? Well, I never. Alvarez's coat. My coat? Uh -huh. What coat? Alvarez, you've turned back into a dog. Obviously, a dog is for life. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Never seen such a beautiful one. Sam, come on. Now you're not going to. <laughs> ah! <laughs> come on in, Wash. It's perfect. Get out of that mud now. Put your costume on. <laughs> Someone could see you. <laughs> Yo, come on. We're alone. Wow! A shark! A shark? Where? 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 You don't see anything. Oh, well, that was just to get you out. <coughs> and it worked. Hmm. Mud baths are the only thing I miss about our life in the woods. And they make my fur silky and soft. Hey, look! It's acting like it wants to stay with me. Obviously, you stink of old mud for miles around. Now, come on, get rid of that fly. We're going home. Nope, I'm keeping it. You what? I feel a sort of connection between us. Something very rare, very powerful. No way am I getting rid of this fly. <sighs> I don't believe it. Now he's talking to flies. <laughs> What is that foul thing? Well, it's my fly. I adopted it. I'm warning you, if that thing comes anywhere near me, my claws are out. <laughs> what a cute little fly! Hey, another one. It looks like they really like me. Isn't that a surprise? Come on, kids. Let me show you all around your new home. Don't worry, Vic. It's just two flies. Or rather, four. We would like to watch TV. Awesome! We're home! Uh -huh. What are all those flies doing around Sam? Yes, that's strange. I've never heard of cats attracting flies. Then again, Sam is unique. Luckily, there were only four. Huh? I need to talk to you, Sam. No problem, Wash. Here we are. Alone? Stay right there, kids. I'll be right back. Let's watch TV. We have to get rid of your flies right now. Oh, yeah? And do you mind telling me why, Mr. I'm so jealous? Because if the Living Stones start asking themselves too many questions, our covers are blown! A bunch of flies on a cat is too bizarre! Not a wild boar, it's a sign of social success! May I remind you that officially you are a cat and not a boar? May I also remind you that every other time animals have turned up here, we've been in big trouble! I'm not abandoning them! End of discussion! But they're just flies! Ah! 
Flies, perhaps, but flies who love me. <laughs> you and I are gonna get rid of those flies. It's far too noisy in here. Messed. <laughs> Time for the royal nap. My court and I are taking possession of that lounge chair. Hey, Lord of the Flies, why don't you all just buzz off? to stay nice and warm to hatch. <laughs> if those flies are still here this evening, I'm kicking every one of you out. I'll take care of it. I just need to find an idea. Well, find it fast. Brilliant invention is the answer to all our problems. What's it for? Catching flies. You'll see. You just have to. <laughs> oh well, looks like you prefer sticking around. Well, duh! My flies need nourishment, too! Yeah. yeah, your flies need nourishment, too. Well, looks like you guys were hungry. <laughs> Darling, we have to call the vet. It simply isn't normal for a cat to attract so many flies. I guess you were right, Wash. I'm gonna have to get rid of the... Well, you know what I mean. Good, because I know just the way to do that. <laughs> well, well, what a lovely walk in the woods. <laughs> Yo, if only I had a bed of leaves to lie down in. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> My old buddies. Nice to see ya, pals. <laughs> oh no, not him! No! Uh, hi there, Mitch. Hi. Didn't expect to see you guys in this neck of the woods. What do we do, Wash? They're almost here! Uh...
This time, there's no choice, Sam. You gotta tell them they can't come with you. You know, a heart-to-heart -heart talk. Yeah, I know, but it's tough, Wash. I've grown really attached to them. It's the only way! <sighs> and that's the reason why I'm gonna have to go home without you. But I'm certain you'll be happy here, out in the fresh air. And I promise, I will never, ever forget you. Promise, Sam? Yeah, yeah, I promise, Wash. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. My boss is coming to dinner, and I want to see no one in the living room. Come on. Hut, hut. Everybody out. Boy, how annoying. Just when we were about to find out the identity of the guy behind the horse mask. And there's nothing to do outside. Inside is so much better. Say, life in the forest must have been a nightmare without TV. That's not true. We never got bored in the forest. We played tons of games. Yeah. How about we play Guess the Smelt? This game is far too easy for a fox. I'm gonna obliterate you. <laughs> a cinch! Gotcha, Sam! Well, you were saying, Washington? No! I wasn't ready. Let's start over. Right. And anyway, he keeps walking off. Whoa! Watch out for the road! <laughs> <laughs> Alvarez? Is that you? Alvy! Mmm, it's soft, kind of sticky. This nose has got to belong to... Victoria! Maybe we should play something else. Why? What's the problem? Let's just say, Space and you don't seem to go together. Let's just say, you're hopeless. If that's the way it is, I quit playing. I'm going inside. So there, and besides, I want to find out who this horse guy is. Mm -hmm. uh, the house is the other way! Uh, isn't that incredible? That dog crossed the whole country to get back home to its owners. Like everyone knows, the dog's sense of direction is second to none. Isn't that right, Washington? <laughs> a dog could never replace my GPS. Don't listen, boy. Your instincts will always be technology, hands down. <laughs> With my navigation assistant, I simply enter a destination and zip. I'm guided straight there. No ifs, no buts. I'd be very surprised a dog can do the same. Unless Washington is an expert in map reading. <laughs> 
My dog is a million times better than your dumb GPS. Oh, it depends on what you're looking for. Sometimes dogs are better, but sometimes nothing beats a GPS. I say get them both and you'll be happy. <laughs> At lunch, we'll have a race. Washington against your GPS. That way, we'll find out. <laughs> no brainer. I'm counting on you, big fella. Whoa! At least there's someone here who recognizes my talents. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really know what you're letting yourself in for? You have absolutely zero sense of direction. And if the boss wins, Mr. Livingstone is going to be very, very disappointed. And then he'll start wondering if his dog is really a dog after all. Maybe I overestimated my abilities. If you'll excuse me, I'd rather not watch this. Farewell, friends. Deep down, I loved you dearly. Enjoy your trip back to the forest. What am I going to do? Because of me, we all have to go back and live in the woods. We must find some way to win this race. Unless that GPS breaks down, I have no chance. Gotta confess, I am hopeless. <gasps> of course, that's it. We have to sabotage the GPS. Great idea, Wash. But that isn't enough. What about you? How are you going to find your way home? Oh, I know. Sam and I will lay a kibble trail back to the house. All Wash has to do is follow the kibble. <laughs> <laughs> what a klutz. Never leave a window open. Uh, what are you doing? I saw that on TV. Slip your paw through the car window and the door will spring open. Hmm. Say, <laughs> what does a GPS look like? Hello. What is your destination, please? Well done, Susie. Go on, sabotage it. <laughs> uh, okay. How? Huh? Just look for a cable and pull on it. Oh! <laughs> have you done it? Have you sabotaged the PVS? You mean the GPS? That's what I said. Not yet. Right now, all we've done is get Susie tangled up in the glove box. In 800 yards, turn left. In 800 yards, turn left. In 808, in 800 yards, turn wow. left. Wow, well done, Susie. With you pulling the strings, there's absolutely no way the boss will find his way back. From the top of this hill, it takes exactly the same amount of time to get home by foot as it does by car. <laughs> My GPS knows all the shortcuts. It's not too late to give up before I humiliate you. Give up? Never. Very well. Count to, uh, let's say 1,000, then take off your blindfolds. May the best man win! One, uh, two, two, three, three four, four, five, five six, six, seven, nine hundred and ninety-nine, one thousand! Take it away, my beauty. Send us right back to where we came from. In 800 yards, turn left. So, where's the house? Well done, Washington. I knew I could count on your instincts. hungry along the way. Oh, no! Sam, what are we going to do? Without kibble, Wash will never find his way home. Why did you have to guzzle back the kibble? You already have a lot of food stashed in your costume. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do, Sam. Your costume is always crammed with food. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see Livingstone's silly loser face. This is going to be fun. In 800 yards, turn left. Uh -huh. Just what I thought. It's uh, not the way it looks. Perfect. Wash is sure to recognize his favorite dog candy. <laughs> Don't be silly, Sam. I've got an idea. The rappers. Wait for them 
to show up. Despite his weird face, his sense of direction will prove once and for all that Wash is a real dog. Hm? Uh-oh! There's something wrong! What? It's a wrapper from the dog candy! Sam! Yeah. Uh. That's strange. I've got this uncanny feeling of deja vu. In 800 yards, turn left. I'm sure I've already turned left here. In 800 yards, turn left. Oh, no, Wash. What have you done? We're right back where we started. Yeah? <laughs> so lost, are we? <laughs> I knew it. A dog could never beat my GPS. Got a technical hitch? I might be lost, but at least my dog knows how to turn right. You don't my understand what went wrong. Maybe GPS. a big greedy warthog passed by and ate our trail? <laughs> Okay, if we can't help Wash without being spotted, at least we can create a diversion. A diversion? I'll take care of that. It's the least I can do. <laughs> ah, a wild boar! What's got into you, Livingstone? <laughs> In 800 yards, turn left. The boys got talent. But how do we get out of this mess? I have no idea, but I need you to guide me back to the house. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, Wash? It's about time. <laughs> what happened? Why are you all alone? <laughs> but, but it's me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Something's happened to my husband. <laughs> Here. Clear off, you beast! In 800 yards, turn oh. left. Thank you again for a magnificent day. The pleasure was all ours. And thank you again, honey. You really saved us. It's Washington who saved you. Ouch. <laughs> Gotta say, there's no way your GPS could have saved us from a wild hog. Uh, I must confess, I am deeply indebted to that dog of yours. This is one TV binge we definitely deserved. I will admit that just for once, you came through okay. If Susie hadn't taken control of the GPS, and if Sam hadn't ripped off his costume, I'd have been a goner. Sam, mm -hmm. where are Sam and Susie? <laughs> yeah, guys, where are you? Okay, I think it's dinner time. <laughs> In 800 yards, turn left. We're gonna win, we're gonna win, we're gonna win! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Let the pro show you how it's done. <laughs> wow! 37.8! No way! My turn, my turn! Move it, Wash! So, so, what's my score? Sam, how do you expect us to know? You broke the scale! Yeah, that's too easy. As soon as I'm about to win, you always come up with an excuse that I lose. You were already doing that back in the forest. Lunch is ready! Uh -huh. Your kibble tastes super weird today, doesn't it? Are you kidding? It's awesome as usual. So, little Sammy, you don't like your brand new kibble extra light? Yeah. With our new kibble extra and five vegetables and sawdust fiber, 
You'll be a skinny cat in just weeks. Nick, what do you say we trade kibble, huh? Between us cats. Um, no. Okay, well then if that's how it's going to be, I guess I'll be seeing you guys later. Wash, Vic, the living stones. Nobody understands me. Luckily, you're here. You know, if I stay here, it's only because of you. In ancient Egypt, cats were the preferred pets of the pharaohs. Considered to be gods, cats were so adored and revered that they were protected mm -hmm. by all Egyptians. And they lived in temples that were built in honor of Bestet, the Egyptian cat goddess of love. Bestet? The Egyptian cat goddess? Why don't we suggest playing tag with him? He loves that. I'm sure it'll lift his spirits. Sam! Sam! Oh, come on! Some people are asleep around here. Besides, your friend has gone outside. Sam! 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 Guys, he's here! Sam! What in the world are you doing? I'm leaving for Egypt. At least there, everybody will revere me. That means that everyone will love me, and I'll be able to eat whatever I want, and not just a little bowl of extra light kibble. Sounds awesome! Is Egypt far? No idea, but it's worth a trip. In Egypt, everybody pampers cats. That's because my ancestor was a cat goddess. Pretty classy, huh? But Sam, you're not even a real cat. <laughs> Is he leaving for good? Of course not, he's leading us on. He's just doing it so we'll give him our kibble, because he doesn't like his new extra light kibble. Mm -hmm. I give him 10 seconds before he changes his mind and comes home. <laughs> Farewell, and kiss my darling Timmy goodbye for me. <laughs> Wash, are you really sure that Sam is taking us for a ride? Sam, stop. It's true we haven't been very nice to you, but if you stay, you won't regret it. I promise we'll take great care of you. As much as they do in Egypt? Way more! Okay, I'll stay a little bit longer, just to see. <laughs> really? For me? Of course! Me kibble as two kibble, amigo. <laughs> and what would you say to playing your all-time favorite game, Sam? <laughs> Tag, Sam! Okay, but under one condition, we play Egyptian tag. Sam, if we play tag, we... Okay! All right, the rules are simple. I met you, see, but you guys have to be super duper nice to me. And if you manage that, I'll stay. Otherwise, I go to Egypt. Understand? Yay! 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 <laughs> Mmm, delicious! Hey, uh, come on, can we play some other game now? Wash, we just started! Come on, try a little harder! You promised to make Sam happy! No, how about taking me for a little ride to help me digest all this food? He was the greatest of cats who filled us with joy and glee! His ancestors, the Egyptians, considered him the height of feline beauty! The sacred cat he was, he left even the dogs in the Left even the dogs and all. Are you serious? Yep, that's right, Alvarez. I saw it on TV. My ancestor was a goddess. A goddess? And what was her name? <laughs> that was the goddess Samses. And this is her descendant, Samses the Second. Glory be to Samses the Second, goddess of the heavens. Wash? Samzis the second wants to continue his royal stroll. Yeah, well, his majesty still has some paws. How about he gets some exercise? Oh, so I see. That's how you think cats are treated in Egypt, Wash? I can't take any more of this. If you want to leave, just go ahead. It'll give me a vacation. Yeah? You don't seriously think I would abandon my people because you're in a bad mood, do you? <laughs> I'm staying, Wash. Yeah! Well, 
You decided to stop playing the clown for your buddy? What's his name again? Samzies 2. Numerous cats have been mummified in the pyramids. These mummies were meant to accompany the dead pharaohs during their final voyage. <laughs> Can you just imagine our Samzies 2 in a pyramid amongst all those mummies? <laughs> <laughs> So what do you think, oh great Samsies 2? No, it's a bit small. Should be way bigger, like in Egypt. Yeah, but we're not in Egypt, and you're not a cat, but a wild boar, so this'll have to do. Me? A wild boar? Samsies 2 is in no way related to a disgusting creature. <laughs> Worry, Eugenie. We're gonna remind Sam who he really is. Do you know what mummies are, girls? <laughs> are you ready, girls? Yeah! yeah! Uh. snoring. Enough already. Oh. <laughs> Eugenie, Susie, get rid of that horrible mosquito. He's disturbing my precious sleep, will you? Me? A horrible mosquito? Samsies too. We are mummies sent by your ancestors, and we have been ordered to bring you back to the pyramids. Uh, thanks for the invite. I'm really tempted, you know, but uh, actually, I think I prefer staying here with my people. Yeah, well, no. Your ancestors are waiting for you in Egypt, so you gotta go now. Yeah? Are you sure about that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, just give me 30 seconds, okay? I gotta go get some kibble for the trip, and, uh... Be right back! Ah! Ah! Honey? Did you hear all that ruckus? Honey! Uh, there's somebody in the living room! No, there isn't. It's just the animals having a little party. You really think so? They usually sleep like logs. And what if it was the same intruder who broke our bathroom scale? <sighs> Have mercy, please! This is all a big mistake! I'm just a friend of the Millwater Four, not a sacred cat! Look! Ah. Ah. Honey, there's a wild boar and three mummies in the living room! Do you think that's who broke our bathroom scale? Of course not. You just had a nightmare, that's all. You think so? Sam, put your costume back on right this second or we'll be sent back to the forest. I don't care. I'd rather go back to the forest than find myself stuck inside a pyramid with you guys. Sorry, you'll never get me. Are you okay, Sam? Eugenie, Susie, you managed to get rid of the money? Sam, quick, put this on. You see, honey, I was right. They were just having fun with the toilet paper, that's all. Come on, guys. You can sleep in our room tonight. That way, there'll be no more fooling around. Yay! And I think that in Egypt, I would have had sausages for breakfast. Yeah, but you'd be with a bunch of mummies deep inside a pyramid and not here with us at the Living Stones. You're right. Things aren't that bad here after all. But... Extra light kibble! I can't believe it! The Living Stones made a mistake! You really uh, think so? Sam? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, 
we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Home. Why bother licking clean 100% synthetic fur? I'm practicing. So, what do you think? Aren't they as real as the real cats? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whatever you do, you'll never ever be a real cat because you've got no magic powers. What? What are you talking about? What magic powers? Mm, seeing in the dark, for example. <laughs> All wild boars can see in the dark. Okay, maybe. But do you know how to multiply kibble? <clears throat> yeah, well, I got X-ray vision. I always knew how to multiply kibble. Mm -hmm. hmm. Well, I'd be pretty darn surprised if you knew how to become invisible. <clears throat> what did you just say? I don't believe you. First, you have to close your eyes. Okay. You can open your eyes now. Wow, that's awesome. Uh -oh. Tell me how you did it. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Please, please tell me. Pretty, pretty, please. Mm -mm. Tell me your secret. After all, I'm almost a cat too, huh? Meow. No, not possible. Not allowed to. I swear, I won't tell us so. <sighs> yeah, that's it? It's that simple? Mm-hmm. That's how you do it? Mm-hmm. But it doesn't work. I can still see myself. It's normal. Only you can see yourself. I can't see you anymore, though. Oh, right! That makes sense! Careful! Sam is invisible. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, of course! That's awesome! Can I become invisible, too? No, it's too bad, but only cats can do it. Aww. Finally, I'll be able to do everything I ever wanted! Sam? Sam, where are you? Oh, yeah! Seriously, Sam! Where are you? <laughs> but what in the world is he doing? Has he lost his mind? I think he's digging for acorns. What? A cat would never do that! They're gonna figure out in a blink that something weird is going on. Oh, yeah? You really think so? <laughs> Sam, say! He's invisible! But I can't see him! Yeah, well, maybe, but he's still invisible. <laughs> what? No way! That's nonsense, because I can see him! <laughs> I knew something was fishy. <laughs> You're the one behind all this. <laughs> Quick, we gotta stop Sam before it's too late. Just look at the yard. I've never seen a cat do anything like that in my life. Why, he's a, a wild cat. Yeah, uh, no, no. He did it for a, a treasure hunt. Mm -hmm. Right, okay, great. But um, we gotta start looking too. Otherwise, Sam's gonna win. Can we play, too? <laughs> I think that's enough. They've fallen for it. Let's go! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Dave! <laughs> I 
take all the food I want without anyone seeing me. He stole my hot dogs. <sighs> Dave! Dave! Go to restaurants, play on the trampoline in the yard. Dave! <laughs> hey! Thieves! Double thief! I'll find both of you! We gotta find Sam as fast as possible. No telling what he's capable of doing. He thinks he's invisible. Oh no. What if he takes off his costume? Already high in the sky. It must be noon already. And I'm gonna miss pigtails. Quick, gotta find a TV. Do you think we're gonna find him? Yes, he can't be far. Now, if I were Sam, what would I want to do if I were invisible? Eat, watch TV. Ah! Oh, look! Sam managed to get inside all the TVs. This is an emergency. The animal power. No, they know where he is. I'm going in. <laughs> this time, we really have lost him. You're not scared of any ghost train. should be here shortly. And I hear they're really dangerous animals. Phew, they haven't captured him yet. Quick, let's go. Please. <laughs> Quick, Sam, <laughs> we gotta run. You can see me? Of course I can. Everyone can see you. Why do you think there's nobody left in the amusement park? They all ran for their lives when they saw you without your costume. No, that's impossible. I'm invisible. You see, Wash? That's what I told you. We're playing Sam is invisible. <laughs> Did I do it right? Can you see me now? Hello, Sam. You feeling okay? It doesn't work anymore. I don't get it. I'm a cat and cats can become invisible. One, you're not a cat. Two, cats cannot become invisible. But... Sam, Vic and Susie were teasing you. Uh, uh, ah, I don't have my costume. I left it at the construction site. What am I going to do? Susie's going to go get it. It's the least she can do. And we're going to get out of here before the animal pound arrives. Too late. Stop that. You're going to give us away. <laughs> Got no choice. Huh? What? A fox as well as a wild boar? Stand back up! This place is crawling with wild animals! <laughs> a fox driving a bumper car? What next? Huh? <laughs> uh, come back, you lousy thief! Stop it, Sam. It just doesn't work. It's just not possible. Not possible. Aha! Follow me. <laughs> I'll never ever leave you again. Come on, hurry up. 
we're gonna miss dinner. You? Uh oh. This time you won't escape me, you bunch of thieves. This way. <laughs> 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 Time to settle a few scores, and I have every intention of coming out on top. It's right about now we could use some of those magic powers. You kid! Huh? huh? Oh, uh, I can't see a thing! Bullseye! Sofa? We didn't see you. You should warn us next time you become invisible. <sighs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguise as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Zip, zip. <laughs> they are so funny. <laughs> Wait, that's nothing. This time, the pyramid! <laughs> we look so well rehearsed. Quick trick and a treat. Easy. They remember everything. But you should see Washington do this. He's by far the best of the four of them. Hey, what about me? Say, where is Washington? <sighs> oh. Answer number three, a cup of hot chocolate. Yeah, my little wash. Uh -huh. Time for the quick fire question round. What insect produces honey? One, flies, two, bees, three, ants. Did you see that? Yeah, it's crazy the show's still going. That presenter must be 150 years old by now at least. Look at Washington. He's answering the questions. Look at his tail. Who invented the famous formula E equals MC squared? One, Einstein. Two, Heidi. Three, Eisenhower. <gasps> wow! <laughs> Our dog is a genius! I found my special edition of the best Quizmaster questions ever. So, how long is an Olympic swimming pool? One, 50 meters. Two, 164 feet. Three, 5,000 centimeters. What are they doing to me? Don't worry. Same game, different day. Do what they want and the kibble is yours. <laughs> Oh, huh? no. For a moment, he was amazing. Now he's getting the answers all wrong. Not at all, honey. He sidestepped their trap. All three answers were correct. Well done, Washington. Incredible. Ah. Oh. What a clever boy you are, Wash. How come you know all that? TV. He loves the documentary and education channel. This is not looking good. Aren't you the one who always says you've got to keep your heads down, not draw attention to the animal inside? Of course not. It's just a harmless little game. How's it going to draw attention to us? That's mm -hmm. right. I want to sign my dog up for the Quiz Master Challenge. His name's Washington. W-A-S-H-I-N-G-T-O-N. <laughs> Gonna be full of himself. And today's show, we have a very special contestant, Washington the dog. Let me remind everybody of today's special rules adapted for our new furry competitor. Washington will answer questions by wagging his tail one, two, or three times. And we're off. Washington, who is Sherlock Holmes' companion? One, Dr. Radcliffe. Two, Dr. Watson. Three, Dr. Groove. Next question, which pyramid is the biggest? One, the Pyramid of Madum. Two, the Pyramid of Calf. Three, the Pyramid of Chaos. Come on, come on, come on! The score is going through the roof! We have a winner! <laughs> this is incredible! Meet Washington the Wonder Dog with a wonder brain. Ladies and gentlemen, this dog has just broken the show's record! Wow! I have to admit, we did good. 
the next stage will be the grand finale against the grand quiz master champion of all time, Mr. Pullface. Who will be the winner? Come what may, it promises to be a phenomenal battle. That's right. The grand finale is tomorrow morning. We're very confident, aren't we, Wash? Well done, Wash. I've always said that dog is as cunning as a fox. Isn't he laying it on a bit thick? <laughs> You can say that again. And he's getting all that kibble and not sharing a single one. So, Vic, gonna congratulate me? I had it all under control and incognito. <laughs> uh, Mr. Livingstone, Washington's rival in the final, Mr. Pofay says the show's been rigged. What do you have to say to his accusations? What? Take a look for yourself. The whole thing's a masquerade, and I'm going to prove it. In the freak event that Silly Hound does beat me, I have the organizer's permission to get its so-called intelligence tested live and direct by the renowned vet, Vladimir Vedovic. Wash would be delighted to cooperate. Tests, after all, are his specialty. Personally, I can't wait to find out Wash's IQ. The sky's the limit. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, well. Now this is getting interesting. What does he mean, silly hound? Me and my so-called intelligence are deeply hurt. If I understand correctly, if you do win this final wash, you're gonna be probed and examined from every angle. And us wild guys, we're not so fond of that idea. Good heavens. This here is no wonder, dog. It is a fox. Oh, no! <laughs> you gotta stop being so intelligent, Wash. Huh? Listen, Wash, it's simple. You have to lose. Yes, or else it's straight back to the forest for us all. Farewell, glory. Farewell, intelligence. The world will have to be deprived of my prodigious talent. So tell me, what do I have to do to be dumb? Hmm? Sam, Eugenie, Susie, Vic, any idea? Count me out. Mm -hmm. Is it that hard to try to get the answers wrong deliberately? Right, I'll try a different question. This time, it's really easy. Remember, Wash, you have to get it wrong, okay? Wash, how many dwarves lit with Snow White? Seven. <laughs> no, I just can't help it. Wash, you're too intelligent for your own good. We don't have a choice. It's time to become genuinely stupid. Hmm, that's given me a brilliant idea. What we could do... Stop with your brilliant ideas. Why don't you think like me? It's really easy. All I do is don't think. I never thought I'd say this, but Wash's intelligence is going to be our downfall. Super sour candy stings my tongue so much my brain shuts down. So, Wash, has it worked? No, it just stings like uh, crazy. How they do it? Oh, yeah, uh, yes, I do. It's the tartaric acid they use, isn't it? Tartamic what? Uh... <laughs> Now we're gonna brainwash you and replace your knowledge with completely useless information. Uh, what do you see here? Uh, yeah, a car? No, it's a flower. A flower that looks like a car? Let's start all over again. <laughs> <laughs> How about this? A postage stamp. Hooray! Wash is an imbecile! Good day to you, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Welcome to this historic program, Washington versus Mr. Pofins. I'm scared. Don't worry, it'll all go super well. Go on, Washington, give it your best shot. I mean, you were shot. <laughs> Washington will get the ball rolling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who painted the Mona Lisa? One, Leonardo da Vinci. Two, Leonardo DiCaprio. Three, Leonard the Lion. Mm -hmm. Wow, Leonardo da Vinci. He totally got that wrong. Uh, not that wrong, in fact. It's pretty right. Three, the Mississippi. Zero errors. Your opponent has his work cut out for him. And here he is. It's time for Mr. Poface. Wasn't the plan to get the answers wrong? 
the device scans animals and searches their brains, seeking out every scrap of information inside. Nothing escapes detection. Well done, Mr. Poface. Another flawless round. You might not have been as quick fire as your opponent, but only the score counts. We'll be right back after this short commercial break. I don't know what's going on. I can see the wrong answer, but my tail won't respond. It's like it has an intelligence of its own. Time for the big decider. Get ready, competitors. Here we go. Can you tell me the exact number of teeth to be found in the mouth of the Volopus Volopus, a.k.a. the Red Fox? <laughs> 29, 30, 31. Uh, uh, 34. Uh, <laughs> 32. Washington, that is incredible. <laughs> Time to drop the act. Stop this masquerade. I don't want to see this. I don't want to see this. I don't want to see now, this. Now, just how does this work? Oh, well, I guess it's plugged in. Should we be worried that they're not his real ears? Shh. This animal is absolutely not gifted in any way. I regret to tell you that there is absolutely zero brain activity zero. present. Huh? It is a mystery how he manages to put one leg in front of the other. As a result, I invalidate the result of this competition. What a phenomenal turnaround! <laughs> I hereby crown Mr. Poface as our new champion! <laughs> really? Washington isn't gifted after all? You know, we are dealing with statistics. Global warming, in my opinion. Its casualties are simply a coda appendage reflex mm -hmm. reaction. The information transmitted by Washington's eyes, ears, or nose bypasses the brain, and so its flow continues uninterrupted directly to the tail in the form of a jolt of nervous energy, giving rise to erratic movements, which in certain contexts and scenarios may seem to have significance. In a word, his tail probably just wags on its own, and there's nothing he can do about it. For once, the guy is actually right! <laughs> You know, Wash, it doesn't matter if you're intelligent or not. We still love you very much. Yeah, we love you very much, too, even if you are lame. <sighs> Our question of the day, what is the square root of nine? Tweet, tweet, tweet! The right answer is three. <gasps> hey, did you hear that? <laughs> Susie chirped three times. <laughs> Quick, where's my telephone? <sighs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. go. Flea treatment complete. You've all been very good. Well done. But where on earth is Victoria? That's weird. She was here two minutes ago. Seeing how she hates that flea product, she must be long gone. It's like she has some sixth sense that tells her when to leave at treatment time. We're gonna have to find her. This year the fleas are back with a vengeance. Hmm. <laughs> You are. Yeah, we've been looking everywhere for you. Stop it! Shh! Shut up, Sam! Keep your snout out of it! Oh. Darling, look! Fix up there! Get down from there right this minute! treatment for me this year. Hey guys, look, a cat. You know what that means? Party, party, party! Interesting. What's up with this? Can't you see? She's dancing! Cool dance routine! <laughs> 
reckon she's being bitten alive by fleas. There you go, Vic. You should have played the game and taken your treatment just like everybody else. Purify want to speak out! Your costumes protect you from the side effects of that ghastly stuff! Ouch! And they protect you from fleas! Stop! Well, well, there you are, Vic. Mm -hmm. This time you're going nowhere. I know it smells bad and it makes your head hurt, but at least the fleas are going to leave you alone. Get the shelter! Come on, Vic, you'll get over it. Who's up for a game of forest ball? Yeah! Yeah! Count me out this time. Go long, Sam! <laughs> are enjoying themselves as much on the other double fur animals. We have a problem. <laughs> Whatever you do, do not scratch in front of them. Otherwise, zip. We'll be up in front of the vet in no time. What if the vet examines us and discovers we're wild animals? I don't want to go back to the forest. There we go. We're off for a weekend in the wild. Be good, little angels. We'll be back tomorrow morning. Oh, what did I do with my sunglasses? Oh, here they are. <laughs> All right, honey, I got the road map. And the donkeys. Stop, stop, silly of me. Huh? Huh? What's happened to them? Do you reckon they have fleas? Hmm, but the treatment works perfectly. Victoria's fine. I'll call up the vet anyway. I'll make an appointment for tomorrow morning when we get back. What a nightmare! <laughs> we cannot let that vet examine us. We have to come up with some solution to get rid of these fleas. No, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> yeah. That feels so good. Good idea, Sam. Everywhere. That's what we're gonna find out. <laughs> Woohoo! What an awesome party! Yeah, whoever organized this is a genius. Yes. Does it work? Right. We're gonna have to find some other idea. <laughs> Well, what a cute little dance routine you got there. This is not the time, Vic. If we don't ditch these fleas before the living stones get back, we're done for. Yeah, but Vic, what can we do to get rid of them? <laughs> to do that, you'll have to find them a better place to live. Like a mansion with a mud jacuzzi? No, another animal. But don't worry, there must be hundreds of untreated pets around here. Hey, Vic, you're a genius. <sighs> but why do I have to do this first? That's the way it is. We drew lots. Trust me on this. Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Sam? 
Lost your way to your comfy sofa? Hi, thing. Hey, I was looking for you with my buddies. We just wanted to say that... That what? That you're an awesome neighbor, we all wanted to give you a big hug to say thanks. Huh? <laughs> yeah, what's that smell? Wait, I'll go see. I don't know what it is. It looks like a trash can with fur. Nothing compared to our double fur penthouse suite here. <laughs> what's wrong with you? I mean, what have those guys been putting in your food lately? To think I'm the one everyone calls wild around here. They're really clinging on. I don't think we have many options left. Who needs the vet? We get our hands on the flea treatment and blam! A quick dose on our real fur and problem solved. You ready? Careful, Sam. I don't believe it. What kind of vet is this guy? There's everything but meds here. Medical weight, 59 pounds or 13 ounces. Oh, no, Sam! 59 pounds and 13 ounces? That's impossible, Wash. The guy inside that thing is lying. Uh, the animals! Shh. Calm down. Did you hear that? Sounds like there are thousands of animals out there. All with nice warm fur. We're right. And it sure smells good. Maybe it's time to throw the party of the century. Yay! Thanks. You can sleep easy now. Come on, let's go look for our treatment. It's the vet! Quick, let's get out of here! What about the flea treatment? I'd much rather live in a cold forest with fleas than get caught hanging around here. Let's go! Oh, what are the... Do something! Look at them, Vladimir! I shall never forget you, you little marvel of technology, you. What are you doing? Farewell, Sofa! Farewell, TV! Farewell, lovely home! Thank you for all the good times you had! We're home! We came as quickly as we could. Oh, poor little honeys. Looks like they're at their wits' end. The vet will be here any minute. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Livingstone, good day. So, where are the patients? I can't take it anymore. It has to stop. This torture has to end. What torture? You stopped scratching. Yeah, you're right. But that means the fleas must have gone. At last, someone with a brain cell. But how come I didn't notice? I have good news and bad news. The bad news is my clinic suffered a flea invasion last night and I don't have the usual product in stock. Yeah. <gasps> but the good news is we get to try out a totally new treatment that's even more powerful. <laughs> Uh, right. The only complicated thing about this product is that it has to be swallowed. Awesome! It's breakfast time! I say, your animals sure are cooperative. Hang on, where's the other cat? <laughs> Come on, Vic, you'll get over it. It's a good thing we got away with it this time. I hate swallowing tablets! Hey, I wonder what did happen to our fleas? Hey, is you happy? How's it going, buddy? Cool place here, huh? huh? <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Quiet to be had anywhere? 
And the champion of the most terrifying scream, Eugenie! Even her teeth are so scared they fall out. Oh, my! I lost a tooth. Don't worry. It's just a baby tooth. I'm sure there's already a new one growing in its place. Mm -hmm. Hey, plant it in the yard. I heard an old oak tree will grow on top of it with tons of delicious acorns. Is it acorns that grow into acorn trees? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So then if we plant a tooth, it will make a... Ah! A teeth tree! <laughs> so maybe we should avoid that scenario by tossing it in the garbage. Most certainly not, you bunch of fools. Baby teeth are worth a fortune. What? what? In the city, when you put a tooth under your pillow during the night, a tooth fairy comes and gets it and leaves a present in exchange. <laughs> Don't you remember Biscuit, the little mouse who lives with the living stones? Mm -hmm. Well, Biscuit works part-time as a tooth fairy. <sighs> That's all nonsense! Yeah! I lost a tooth two months ago, and Biscuit never <laughs> came with the slightest gift. Ah, could be your tooth was too boring for him. Yours, Eugenie, is way more interesting. What's so special about my tooth? Well, for a rabbit, that's one huge tooth. And I can assure you, teeth like that are pretty rare here in the city. I'm sure you'll get an enormous present. Wow! Tooth Fairy. Here's this. <laughs> Biscuit has made fun of us yet again. Well, why the long faces? You said that Eugenie would get a super present, and she got totally ripped off instead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, laugh all you want, but we haven't said our last word. <laughs> what do you want? Just what is this lousy gift, huh? Eugenie left you a super tooth, and she deserves a super present. Give us back the tooth. We're gonna see another tooth fairy. A real one this time. Too late. A deal's a deal. Can't go back on it now. And for your info, I've been running Baby Teeth Incorporated, the company that handles all the teeth in the hood for years. And for years, a rabbit tooth is worth a clothespin. No more, no less. <laughs> and one more thing. You can thank your lucky stars. Since it was a big tooth, I gave you a big clothespin. <laughs> Do you hear that, Sam? Yeah, it's my stomach growling. I've only had four meals today. Give you five kilos of cheese and uh, a muscle. Twenty kilos of cheese and a muscle. Uh, ten kilos and no muscle. Fifteen. Twelve kilos and half a muscle. It's a deal. Right. I have to organize transportation now. I'll be okay. Wow. Twelve kilos of cheese and half a muscle. <sighs> Eugenie got totally ripped off, and we've got the proof now. I'm gonna make a deal. What is it you want this time? <clears throat> Well, according to the latest news flash, it appears that Eugenie's tooth is exceptional and that it's going right on today's tooth market is about 12 kilos of cheese. And half a muscle. So either we get it back or we get the cheese. Too late. <clears throat> That's how it's gonna be. We'll have to resort to more forceful methods. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh!
got a present for Biscuit? Why you and not me? Drop it. I bet it's because we tried to eat Biscuit a couple of times. You know how those mice hold a garage. You see? You're really actually pretty lucky. You could have gotten nothing at all. Mm -hmm. have something that belongs to us. <laughs> hey, you give me back my tools right now! Uh -huh. That looks like a tooth. <laughs> Come on, open your mouth. It's for your own good, you know. You mustn't suffer in silence, darlings. Uh, listen, honey. The easiest thing to do is to get an appointment with the vet tomorrow morning. They'll know whose tooth this is. Huh? <laughs> Given the size of it, I think we can count out Susie, no? Indeed we can, honey. Birds don't have teeth. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> If the Livingstones take the tooth to the vet, he's going to tell them it's a wild boar's tooth, and then it's going to be a one-way ticket back to the forest for all of us. What if we steal the tooth during the night? Huh. They'll see it's missing tomorrow morning, and they might suspect it was us. Too risky. Oh, I know. What if we replace it with Nugget's cat tooth? Mmm, brilliant idea, Eugenie. Yeah, well, hmm. good luck with that. Nugget and Fluffy's door is always locked at night. Susie! You could get it by flying through the window. So I could get swallowed whole by those two loonies? No, thank you. But I do know how you could get in, Wash. I just found a super video explaining how to use a clothespin. Voila! Whoa! Awesome catapult! Susie, get in position. Say yes, sir! Everyone ready? <laughs> Operation Clothespin will begin in five, four, three, two, one, zero! <laughs> Sam, are your muscles made of silly putty or what? Pull a bit harder this time, okay? Zero! <laughs> Whoop! <laughs> zero! <laughs> zero! <laughs> zero! Harder, Sam, not super hard. If all you're going to do is yell at me, I will stop helping. Washington? What are you doing here? Get out of here on the double unless you want to wind up in the dog pound. Yeah, uh, uh, I come as a friend. Uh, actually, I come as a little mouse. Uh, a fairy mouse. Biscuits at me. Huh? A dog fairy mouse? Yeah, that's it. And uh, since Biscuit doesn't have time to come pick up Nugget's tooth, he asked me to undertake this super important mission for him. But then that means I'm going to get a present in exchange. <laughs> What's the present gonna be, huh, Wash? Your present? Oh, yeah, uh, well, uh... <laughs> so, who's king of the deal? Oh, you know, the usual. Art of the deal. Nugget had no choice but to hand over the tooth. Oh, yeah? With nothing in exchange? Uh, uh, no, 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 of course not. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, two kisses. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, come on, we got work to do. Oh, yeah? Even if I tell you I've got that exceptional tooth and that I'm willing to make a deal? I thought the Livingstones went off to the vet with the tooth. Quite right. Except that as we speak, the vet is examining an itsy bitsy cat tooth. No doubt about it. This is a shark's tooth. Which means that the tooth belongs to none of our darling furballs. Now that's great news. Interesting. In exchange for the tooth, I'll 
give you two huge clothespins. Uh-uh. We want eight kilos of cheese and a whole muscle. Huh? You're crazy. Three kilos of cheese and no muscle. Six kilos and a muscle. Do you think Wash will be back soon? I'm starting to get kind of hungry. So? Let's hear it for the king of the deal. Check it out. What? That's all? Huh? Hey, it's better than a clothespin, no? <laughs> you can say that again, Wash. Who wants some? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Who work in supermarkets throw out perfectly good food into the garbage? Uh-huh. Why in the world would they do that? Go figure, Sam. You know humans, always doing really bizarre things. Shouldn't we have asked the girls to give us a hand? Nah, this is our treasure, Sam. Just for the two of us. There it is. We're gonna put everything in the cart and bring it back to the yard. <laughs> Huh? What do these two deadbeats want? Yeah, uh, we, uh, want to get the leftovers from the supermarket. Cause this happens to be our dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have you know. Let me make things clear. This entire street is my turf. Maybe we could share, like 50-50? Nah, we never share with losers. <laughs> Say what? What do they mean by losers? Losers, hmm, let's see, how should I say this? You, for example, with your tacky costumes, well, you're losers. And they yeah. are the exact opposite. They're cool. Huh? Those guys? They're cool? Oh, oh yeah! Have you ever heard of zipsters? But they do weird things, no? And why shouldn't they? You know, when you're cool, you're allowed to do anything. Totally. Hipsters impose their coolitude. <sighs> they absolutely rule the city. Sam, I've got a plan so we can get our treasure out of the dumpster. We become zipsters. But I thought we were losers. <laughs> and that's gonna change. Once we become zipsters, we'll be so cool that Fang will be dying to share with us. Mm -hmm. And what if he refuses? Then we'll help ourselves. After all, zipsters are allowed to do anything. <laughs> this zipster kit I ordered on the net is just awesome. Ooh. Ooh. We're almost there, Sam. Are you sure? <laughs> Zipster, Sam. You sure about that? Absolutely. Maybe we should take the guide to being a perfect zipster, no? Nah, don't need it. Just look how cool we are. So? Mm -hmm. I'm hesitating between ridiculous and hopeless. <laughs> <laughs> What's getting into them? It looks like they're making fun of us. Nah, no way. It's just that... We've got the look, but not the attitude. Remember what the girls said, zipsters impose coolitude. They're allowed to do anything. We've got to impose, Sam. Ah! Sorry, girls, but we want to watch something else. <laughs> uh, hey, are you nuts or what? Who do you think you are, anyway? A zipster. <laughs> you mind, Vic? <laughs> Thank you! Hey, have you gone totally?
totally wacko? Don't you dare put your butt on my pillow. Ah! Oh, yeah! I don't get it. I thought they just loved zipsters. They think we're fake zipsters. No, oh, it's because they know our beards are fake. If nobody takes us seriously, Fang will never give us our share of the food. Of course. Once we're outside, nobody will know these are fake beards. And this time, we're gonna follow the guide to being a perfect zipster. You see, Sam, in order to pass ourselves off as perfect zipsters, we gotta do cool stuff like that. Hmm. Our turn to play. <laughs> hey, those are ours! <laughs> Who are those two bozos? <laughs> You're the one who has to look out, buddy, because we are Zipsters! <laughs> well, how do you stop this thing? You know those guys? Hmm, wouldn't be Wash and Sam Livingstone, would it? Impossible! Sam and Wash don't have beards! They show our blanks! Give us back our toys, you mean thieves! What are you doing? We didn't steal anything, Sam! We're zipsters! We impose ourselves, period! <laughs> It's sure not easy being a zipster. Yeah, but it's worth it. Check out all our admirers. Hmm. Stop! <laughs> Who do you think you are, anyway? It's absolutely forbidden for pets to make little kids cry. Where did you come from? There? Yeah, well, we know the animals who live there, and they're nothing at all like you. Especially Wash, who is more handsome, more intelligent, more... Yeah, right. Uh. Total nonsense. As for you two guys... <laughs> and don't even dream of ever stepping a foot in here again, you bubs! <sighs> Sam, can you believe it? We look so much like zipsters that nobody can recognize us. Do you realize what the future has in store for us? Yeah, cool stuff. Way better, Sam. A future without our costumes. Since no one recognizes us anymore, there's no reason to hide. Yeah. a level of ultimate zipstertude, Sam. We rule the city, so now's the moment to go find Fang and recover what is rightfully ours from that dumpster. <laughs> hey, yo, hip cats. <laughs> How's about going 50-50 on the dumpster with me and my main dude here? <laughs> yeah? And why would I do that? Cause we have become zipsters. Zip what? Zipsters, dude. Isn't our look sufficient proof? What are they doing? We are doing the knee jerk, which is not something for losers. That's right, Fang. And now we belong to the club that rules the city. More like fools of the city, I'd say. <laughs> fools? I thought we were zipsters. Of course we are. And since Fang doesn't want to share, we're going to impose. <laughs> Hey there, you clowns. Didn't you hear? <laughs> but they're, they're wild beasts. Ah! Keep me alive! 
<laughs> and to think the solution was in front of our snouts the whole time. All we had to do was be ourselves. The wild ones! <laughs> why didn't we think of that sooner? <laughs> That's probably why we didn't think of it sooner. My lettuce smoothie! Huh? Where did they put their costumes? Come on, I got an idea! <laughs> and to think that we barely even got to taste the life of a zipster! <laughs> like that lettuce smoothie? Blah! What in the heck are those critters? Looks like a rabbit and a canary wearing beards. Unbelievable! Don't move. I've got to take a photo from my Instagram account. <coughs> oh, rats, we forgot all about our wild animals. Phew, <coughs> 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 that was a close call. So, who's the coolest now, huh? Way to go, girls. Thanks a ton. But you can get rid of your beards now. Enough zipstering for one day. Girls? Those zipsters are girls with beards? And to thank you, we have decided to share our treasure with you. At least the zipster effect helped us get rid of Fang. <laughs> yeah, more like the no costume effect. <laughs> Boy, what a bunch of losers. They don't even have beards. And yet, Everybody knows that if you want to be a hip pet, you can't be without one. <laughs> 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 <laughs>